Hello and welcome to Eagle Eye Open Global Outreach. I am Brother Sana David. I want to share some messages that God has given to me. I have been receiving these messages since December. I've been writing them down. So some are short, some are long. I'm going to uh, tell us what the Lord is saying this particular point in time. It is about judgment on the New World Order agendist, New World Order globalist. Judgment is coming upon them. The Lord has revealed this to me several times and we have our own responsibilities to carry out as far as this judgment is concerned. Please share this video, like this video and share it with someone. Our channel is under YouTube censorship. It has been shadow banned so that people would not see our videos but by you sharing these videos they will go a long way thank you if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get updates whenever we post a video on the 8th of December 2022 I heard the Holy Spirit said restoration of unbiased rule of law that was everything I heard then on the 11th of December 2022, the Lord gave me a vision and he showed me someone who stretched his hands like this, as if trying to obstruct someone from passing by. Then I heard a voice. It is the voice of the Lord. It was saying, I am the Lord. No one can stand against me and my written word. I am jealous of man because he was created in my own image and likeness. Nobody can tamper with humanity to rewrite my code without my intervention. Their plan is huge, but I am here already to stop them. A human will remain a human. Therefore, those humans who try to elevate themselves to the position of God shall be brought down. Then he said to me, Tell my people that the wickedness of men has risen up to my throne. I have seen the innocent being oppressed. Their cry has come up to me. My judgment shall soon roar against the wicked families of the world. I will judge them in broad daylight. I will step on top of their humanity and make them vomit their evil agenda. Three times have I been silent to see how far they can go? Without restrictions, they will keep going if I do not stop them. To all those of you who put your trust in Donald Trump, know that neither Donald Trump nor any other person can save you but God alone. I, the Lord, uses anyone I choose. Therefore, put your trust in me, your God and Savior. I will pour my spirit on the one I am going to use to bring judgment. He shall take the leap of a frog and shall pursue the wicked with an unusual pace. He shall fight, not as a man, but like one on a mission to rescue those who have been captured. My spirit shall lead him to carry out my judgment with a sword of fire shall he pursue the wicked this is what i was told on the 11th of december 2022 uh, i want to draw our mind back to a vision the lord gave me on the 4th of august 2021 i made a prophetic announcement that god told me he gave me a vision and he told me that he was interrupting the plans of the wicked, the plans of the globalists. In a vision, I saw a book that as if breeze is blowing and a book is open, the pages were flipping. And then the Lord spoke to me and told me that what these evil people have planned is against his written word, that this don't supposed to happen now. As a result, he is interrupting their plans. That is what he told me. That was the heat of the pandemic. August 4, 
2021 I was afraid to make that announcement um, so I summoned courage and I said I'm not going to pre-record this video I said let me do a live video because I was afraid I just had to call summon courage and do it you know one thing about God is that he is in the future so when he reveals what is about happening to us sometimes our humanity comes in between us and what God has revealed to us sometimes even me I doubt something sometimes but I just have to say that because God has revealed them how could God say announce to these people that I have it in in the heat of the pandemic when everywhere was in a lockdown he said I should make announcement and I had to summon courage and I made the announcement December 2021 he told me to make announcement that people were going to die that people should stop receiving extra of this that those who have received should stop receiving and those who have not received should stop from the beginning of this thing i have been telling people and warning people god said don't take this thing he said don't take this thing don't take it i have been announcing in fact i became an enemy to a lot of people whenever i share messages to them and tell them stop taking this thing they said i was uh, from another planet that how could i say don't trust as uh, cdc i don't want to say much because of the platform these people were engaged what i was seeing but today they are seeing the repercussion it has started but it's going to be more sometimes i struggle within myself to pass some messages because it's like it is against what we are seeing but if god who sees the future not just sees the future but he lives in the future if he says say this i have to say it because i know this is god talking to me i'm going to leave the link of uh, the two messages i refer to in the description box the one i made the announcement august 4 2021 and the one god gave to me uh december 2021 about mass death i'm going to leave the link the links in the description box in case you have not watched these videos uh, you can go and watch them on the 15th of december 2022 the lord gave me this message if i do not intervene in the affairs of humanity to interrupt the plans of the wicked humans shall scream in agony to their maker i have seen the tears of the oppressed i have seen the deliberate impoverishment of families and nations hence my divine interventions i have chosen a few people across the world they shall stand for me in resisting the strong fist of the wicked ones I need more intercessors to pray for them and it shall come to pass when my first foot touches the earth that my judgment shall start against them I have given them enough time to repent but they refuse now I mean now is the judgment of the wicked when I drop my other foot on the earth shall men rejoice over the downfall of the wicked men but their rejoicing shall be for a time because it is the time for evil to reign stand up and support those i have chosen to fight against evil they shall do it without the fear of death let intercessors pray for them on a daily basis let me tell you this the judgment of god is coming this i know very well but we have the responsibility to also pray for those god is using to carry out this judgment both judges both governors both presidents uh, we have to continue to pray for them i remember some time ago god told me a number of persons to pray for even uh, this month january god called the name of a governor in nigeria and he said 
pray for this governor and I, I pray for him there are those I pray for remember the message uh, I, I read before this one God said don't put your trust in Donald Trump neither on any other man put your trust in God it is not man that is going to save us God is the one who is going to use men to save us governments are going to be put in place and God is also going to stir the hearts of people he told me that that he's going to stir the hearts of people across the world before now before December he told me he would stir the hearts of people across the world and they are going to resist the force of evil you could just be one of those God is stirring up to resist and these people that God is going to raise they need our prayers in the, one of the messages I'm going to read he said some of them are not Christians they are people from across different religions but God said all flesh is mine he is going to pick people and he is going to use them to fight against the evil powers that are trying to enslave humanity before time a time of slavery is coming we know that after the rapture is going to be terrible but now there is a limit but they are overstepping their bound this is why God is intervening but the rejoicing the joy shall be for a while because we just stepped into the other side of life where terrible things are going to happen in the world on the 20th of December the Lord spoke to me and said I the Lord will raise someone who will give justice to my people he shall remove your yokes of burdens then the Lord showed me a warehouse in a vision where this V these bottles this thing they are giving to people let me use this as a uh, to illustrate you see this this thing they are giving to people here I saw a warehouse they were there and then I saw that they were being removed from the warehouse that means the plans of the wicked to be giving people this thing every six months or every year he is interrupting that plan and I saw that they were being removed from the warehouse they were kept in the warehouse for use but the Lord is removing them that is the truth and you have to understand you as a child of God understand the will of God and know where God is going so that you can support anyone who supports God's plans in sincerity on the 23rd of December now let me tell you we have to be very very careful those of you who don't vote please vote your vote counts you may say out of the two people uh, whether Democrats or Republican uh, they are working for the same master please vote but don't vote those who will force and mandate this thing don't vote those who are satanic vote for godly people God said he is going to raise a man who is going to fight he will carry out judgment please do not vote for people who are promoting satanism in government the next message that the Lord gave to me on the 23rd of December he made that statement about the US I am very very passionate and concerned about US politics even though I'm not there but you know every blessed day I pray for the US every blessed day there are people I pray I pray for there are senators I pray for there are uh, for instance uh, senator Ron Johnson I pray for him I pray for um, the governor of Florida Ron DeSantis I pray for him because I know he needs our prayers he needs our prayers God is using him to oppose the force of evil 
There are people I pray for all over the world. I pray for Stu Peters. If you go to Rumble, he is there. Red Voice Media. I pray for uh, Dr. Stella Emmanuel. There are people I pray for. I don't, I haven't met these people one on one, but they are fighting for us. The Lord told me to pray for those who are fighting for justice in the world. And I am also inviting you in your daily prayers. Pray for them. I pray for not just people who are in the US, I also pray for my country. I pray for Nigeria. I pray for uh, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party and his vice, Peter Obi. Every day, morning and evening, I pray for them because they need our prayers. We need to pray for those in leadership position and those who are at the forefront fighting for us. And I know there are people that are praying for me because of the kind of ministry that the Lord, that the Lord has given to me. I feel so happy when people write me or when we talk sometimes or chat and people say, I am praying for you. I feel so encouraged. I feel so happy. Intercession, intercessory prayers go a long way to sustain the government of justice and also uphold the righteous and those who are speaking the truth who are fighting for us in this world. Please pray for them. And God is saying, pray for these people. Please pray for them. On the 23rd of December, 2022, I held this. The Lord spoke these words. If I had not resisted the enemy, many would have been in slavery by now. When I heard this word, my understanding in this vision was that God was talking about the US, the United States of America. On the 5th of January 2023, this year, this is what the Lord told me. I would raise Moses, that means Moses, Moses, but he said it in a plural form. I would raise Moses all over the world that will resist the force of evil. There shall be people across different religions all flesh is mine. I will stir up the hearts of people and open their eyes to see the truth. I will give wisdom to judges to execute judgments according to what is due the wicked. Men shall again unite with one voice. My spirit shall accomplish this, says the Lord. This is what I was told. These are the messages the Lord has given to me. Please pray for the people the Lord has chosen to use. And if you see any one of them, please support them. If the Lord is stirring your heart, if he's stirring your spirit to rise up and fight, please do not resist that fire that the Lord is stirring in you. The Lord said he's going to stir the hearts of people. He told me this some months ago. You could be one of them. Then also, pray for the world, pray for justice, pray for those who are fighting for us, be equipped with the right information. I'm just telling you what you need to do as an individual. Then also, when you see, when you see petitions, if, if people want you to sign petition, want you to, to uh, share them, please sign support petitions. For justice, it is very, very important. You need to add your voice to the voices of people who are at the forefront you need to support them in any way you can then also share this video share this message there are people who are giving up this is a message of encouragement this is a message of hope people in australia people in the in some states in the u.s uh, just uh, on the first one of my boys there is a boy i have been sponsoring uh, for some years now uh, in my charity organization, Ozena David Foundation. So he gained scholarship in the US. Uh, he's into sports. The Lord told me to sponsor him some years ago and I started sponsoring him. He had been the number one person consuming a lot of funds in the charity organization. Most 
consuming most funds. But do you know when he gained scholarship? Uh, year 2021, he gained scholarship to some schools in the US. But because of the mandate, this mandate, the Lord said, don't go. And I warned him, don't go. So he stayed. But on the 1st, 1st of January, he went to the U.S. But you know that I went to the U.S. Uh, website, uh, CDC website. It is still mandatory to receive two shots before you can enter. Still mandatory. You must receive two shots. This must stop. I am praying they must lift it. It must stop. This is slavery. Please support the truth. Let us fight as one. Let there be unity. Irrespective of your religion, irrespective of your uh, denominational beliefs, irrespective of your political party, irrespective of your ideology, we are all humans. Let us come together as one and fight the force of evil. Please, one of the ways you can fight is by sharing messages like this. Share this video to those who are giving up. There are people who are giving up. Share this message to them. Let them know that there are reasons not to give up. That the Lord says He's going to fight. He's raising people to fight for them. They need to be encouraged so that they don't give up. Also, like this video and also share this video. Comment so that uh, we can beat YouTube shadow banning. This channel has been shadow banned by YouTube so that people don't see the videos. They don't suggest the videos. They have taken some videos down uh, because they don't like them. Uh, please share this video so that more people can see this video. And finally, please give your life to Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I have been preaching, but not on this channel. I really post sermons and teachings here. Uh, but you can subscribe to my personal YouTube channel, Hosanna E. E. David, and my evangelical ministry channel, The Narrow Ways Christ for All Nations. You are going to see teachings, messages, sermons there. They are going to help you. There are also revelations there. If you have not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. God bless you. Bye-bye.